break, guys. He's managed to turn it over twice now, and that doesn't bode well for the rest of the quarter if he doesn't shake out of it and tighten things up. Now go to Doris. Steve, I mean, they can't allow him to continue to hurt him like this. Irving. Oh! And an out of this world reverse jam. Woo! I don't know what to say about that. I mean, he went reverse on him. Beautifully done. Clark Words can't even do that one justice. <laughs> just let the pictures tell the story, guys. Well, Kyrie Irving just has the total package offensively. That's why he's so difficult to guard. He's got great range on his jump shot, but he's strong and quick and able to get to the rim anytime he wants. Well, now Irving. Gets it off. Oh, 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 my oh, goodness. He the wow. Wade. Haslam's got his first bucket in this one. He logs up the alley -oop pass, and it's Thompson with the jam. You can see the eye contact there. Gave a little nod and then burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. No doubt, Clark. Their teammates with a terrific feel for each other out on the floor. Mm -hmm. and just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Irving drives in. That is good. Irving's got eight points. Really hard. Batum, and the first shot of the night for him, no good. Of all the players in the NBA, maybe the only person other than LeBron who is a threat to get a triple-double on a nightly basis is Nick Batum. He just racks up stats in so many categories with such ease. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Trailing by two, and the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. down the floor. Well, for J.R. Smith playing alongside LeBron and Kyrie last season, he knew he had a chance for a ring. You know, Clark, he played like it most of the time. He sure did. I mean, instead of having to create offense, the offense was created for him, served up perfectly for him, and all he had to do was knock down open jumpers, and as a result, his shooting percentages rose after the trade. Outside. Again, Curry missing. Oh, so a tough quarter for him offensively. He hasn't been able to give his team a lift when they need it. And, and really, the Warriors had an amazing regular season last year. Just for him, you have to have body movement to get quality shots. To the middle. And the jam by J.R. Smith. Wow, J.R. showing us he still got hops. Griffin against Long. And Irving with a clear path to the hoop. And the slam dunk by Irving. Easy to see who's going to win that race. I love to see them push it like that. I think if you're a young team where the, the key parts and personnel are in their formative stages, this is critical to getting some confidence and feeling like, okay, I know how to win at the NBA level. If you're a more veteran-laden team, they far greater understand that the end don't respond when they push us. We'll just get bullied all game. We're going to get down in the paint tonight, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks, David. Basket counts. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. It's three. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And the shot goes down. Well, you can see he's feeling it right now. Shots dropping from all over the place this quarter. Ball against Irving. Now the pass to Brown. Basket is good, and he'll get a chance for one more at the free throw line. Come on, that is remarkable work from Kyrie. Ridiculously crappy at how he gets into the defense and draws the foul. 
The things Kyrie Irving can do with the basketball are just jaw-dropping. Doris, a, a gifted ball hand. Well, he will go down as one of the best dribblers to ever play the game. Creative, consistent, quick with every move. He is fun to watch, Kev.